Let's set up your Opal travel router. There are a couple of different ways to connect this to a wireless source and some are more complicated than the others and the directions in the box definitely make it more complicated. So we're gonna break this down for you today. This is going to be your device. You do need to raise the antennas on either side to extend that wireless to your devices. And we've talked about in other videos why this is so important to have while you're traveling or while you're content creating out in public. I will link that down below for you with creative ways on how to use this as well. And the front of this is going to have a light on it that will tell you whether or not it's connected based on the color that it is. On the back side, you are going to have all of the places you can plug your cables into and it does come with a power cord that must be plugged in. So you are going to go ahead and plug that into the front of your device and that will allow power to this so that it can connect to the wireless and then send it out to your devices. You do have the ability to use the wireless wherever you're staying. So you can connect this to the wireless in your house to set it up, but then you're able to connect to the wireless in a hotel in an Airbnb that you're staying at or at the local cafe where you're going to be doing work. This then sends that signal out to your devices in a protected way so that the person who owns the open source wireless cannot see what you're doing and access your devices. So you do have the ability to use their wireless or you can use the cable if you have access to their wireless source. So if you're in your home, you are then able to connect this directly into the device here you can take the opposite end and go to your wireless router box. You have to have one of those in your home or you do not have wireless. And you can jack this directly into that. This will speed it up and give you a slightly stronger connection, but you do not need that. So you can absolutely use it without that cable if you are in an Airbnb or a hotel where you don't have direct access to those jacks. So what you're going to be doing is following either the directions in the box and going to the IP address, or you're going to be able to use the app. A number of YouTube videos have said they do not have an app. That is an outright lie. They do, and it's actually easier to set it up for. So if you're following the directions in the box, you are going to go to your computer. You're going to open the computer, pull up a browser. You will not be connected to any wireless. So you're not gonna have access to anything, but you are gonna be able to plug in the IP address. This is on the paper in the box. It is not listed on your device. So you must keep that paper and keep it with this device if you are gonna be going to that IP address to log into the wireless. Write it down somewhere, take a picture on your phone, have it ready to go. So you're gonna to go to that IP address and then you are going to select the internet source. So wherever you happen to be, select the internet source and then type in the password and it will connect to that wireless situation. If you are on the IP address on your computer, I have noticed that it can be kind of finicky. It's definitely a little bit harder to connect, but it does have prompts on the screen so you can follow through to say, you are doing this wirelessly, you're doing it tethered, you're gonna go through those different options and you can set it up directly through the IP address on the computer. Now, if you want the easier way, you are gonna go to the app. So there is an app, I will link that down below so you don't even have to search for this. This is going to be a direct link in the caption for you and you're gonna download the app. From there, you are going to be able to sign in and you're gonna be able to connect to the wireless source. So it will have a drop down where you are going to indicate what the network is. You're gonna type in the password and from there it's going to prompt you to be able to connect all these different things and control your different devices. So if you have more than one device from this company, you can use it all through this app. And that makes it much simpler and much easier to use. Now, this is what you need to know about this device. You do wanna make sure that this is going to be as close to your internet source as possible for the best strength. And then you wanna make sure you have all your devices set up on this before you leave on your trip. So if you're using this on vacation at a hotel or a rental property, you wanna make sure you have your phone, your computer, your camera sources, your security cameras, all those things done before you go. So do not struggle with this and try to get this set up once you arrive. Do this in your home before you leave. So you're gonna set this up with your wireless. If you wanna test it, you can go over to a friend or a family member's house and you can try it on their wireless. And all you have to do when you get to your location is pull up the app on your phone or go through the IP address on your computer. You can do that as well. And you are going to decide which network it is. So whatever the hotel or the Airbnb, the properties hotel, um, network is going to be and then type in that password and it should automatically connect and the light here will tell you whether it's connected or not as will the app or the IP address will confirm whether or not you are connected from there all of your other devices should be connected from the first time you did it and because this is very similar to using your wireless source it will automatically remember your devices so just like 
when you connect your phone or your computer to your wireless device in your house, anytime you leave and come back, it will remember that and it will automatically connect. I like to use the example of going to visit my family members. If I go over to my sister's house or another relative's house where I've already connected to their internet, even though I don't live with them, when I walk in, my phones and my computers automatically connect. I don't have to go through the process again. So once you set this up with your devices, your phones, your security cameras, your camera sources, your computers, those will automatically be remembered. So once you set this up and you attach this to the properties wireless, now everything else automatically has access to that internet source. So this is very simple to set up, very simple to use. If you are just following the prompts on the screen, I recommend the app over the IP address, but you can do whatever works best for you. Sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle and you'll have to do it a couple of times to connect, but I have found that the IP address is way more finicky and the app works way faster on this one. So I do recommend having that app on your phone, but always make sure you keep that piece of paper that was in the box with the IP address and keep it with your device. All of your information for your device is going to be on the back. So your serial numbers and your model numbers, and anything that you're going to have to plug in because it will ask you for specific information that is on the back of the device, everything except for that IP address. So just make sure you have that where you can clearly read it. I do recommend taking a picture of this on your phone and that piece of paper on your phone, keep it in a special folder. So when you're traveling, you don't have to hope that nothing got scratched off or you forgot the paper. It's on your phone and ready to go. It makes it very simple, very secure for you to be traveling or for you to be working out at Starbucks or a Barnes and Noble or anywhere that you're going to be in public using their wireless system. Saves you time, effort, stress, and gives you a lot of security. Check out that other video that we've dropped on the channel. Drop your questions down below and we'll see you in the upcoming episodes as we continue to help you navigate the world of being a content creator to save you time, effort, and stress and make this your most profitable year ever. We'll see you then.